Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. Glory to God. The Lord is good all the time and all the time. The Lord is good. Yes, yes, yes. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of all the glory. You are worthy of all the glory. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You are worthy to be praised. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, my. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Yes. It's a, it's a powerful day. It's a powerful day. How are you, woman of God? How are you? Okay, okay. You hear me well? Oh, my, oh, my. Minute, minute. Oh, yes. Let me work on this. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You. Hello? Yes, I'm you can hear me? Oh, I can hear you. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. You are worthy to be praised. Yes, you can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Glory, 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 glory. The Lord is good all the time, and all the time the Lord is good. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm trying to invite more people on board. Yes. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, yes. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of all the glory and adoration. You are the God of heaven. You are the God of Elijah. You are the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac. Father, we welcome you in this mighty meeting, in the mighty name of Jesus. We welcome your presence in this meeting, Almighty Father. So let your presence be highly manifested and let your purpose in the life of people be tangible in their life in the name of Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy, O Jehovah God. You are worthy, King of kings. You are worthy, Lord of lords. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, I'm trying to bring Papa on board. I'm trying to bring uh, His Excellency Bishop Maxwell Okoro. I don't know why there's a problem on the line. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Yes, Lord. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. Yes, oh yes, oh yes. Trying to bring the man of God on board. Oh, but I think there's a problem with his network. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of all the glory and adoration. Jesus. Jesus. Only you are worthy to be praised. Yes, yes. Yes, Jesus mighty. Jesus mighty. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
in Jesus mighty name yes I can see there are people on board yes yes all right all right my voice has gone very low Yeah, higher, higher, higher. Yes, higher, higher, higher. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? If you are on board, kindly just say amen. Just say amen. If you are on board, just say amen. Oh my, yes. If you are on board, just say amen. Can you hear me? Oh, I, I, I seem to be very far. I seem to be very far. Oh, yes. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Jesus mighty name. Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. Yes. It's the church is on board. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus mighty name. Just share the video. Just share the video. Share the video to platform. Share the video to friends. Just share. In Jesus mighty name. Can you hear me well, woman of God? Can you hear me well? It has gone very low. I can hear you well. I can hear you well. Yeah, but I don't know. One night is hearing you clearly. I can, I can uh, don't. Maybe it's my, it's my... <laughs> Not sure. I, I can hear you well. Yes, yes. Okay, let me. Okay. In Jesus' name. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus mighty. Jesus mighty. You want it to be praised. You want it to be praised. Yeah, zero, zero, completely zero. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hallelujah. Can you get me well? Can you get me well? I can hear you, but very low. Uh, I think uh, it's on your side. Well, on this side, I can get you My properly. I, I can hear you very well. Yes. The Lord is good. The Lord is good all the time. Just share the video. Just share the video on platform. Share the video to friends. Just share the video. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are in this meeting because uh, this is a powerful day where we are going to engage on breaking of curses. We are going to break uh, generational curses and uh, we have to understand in depth exactly what curses are and why we are uh, indulging in this uh, 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 issue uh, called curses. Because there are so many people who are living uh, a, a life that is not their own. I can, I can say it's known as a borrowed life. A borrowed life because that's not their life. And, and this day uh, we are privileged to have uh, uh, the woman of God, evangelist, uh, uh, Aminata is in the house and I want to thank God because of her life. Yes, I want to thank God because of the grace upon her life. And I want to thank God to each, uh, for each and every person that is watching, uh, uh, each and every person that is listening to this uh, 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 meeting, uh, engaged in this uh, 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 conference. I want to thank the Lord because of your life. I want to thank the Lord because of this uh, a great opportunity that. Uh, we are having this day because God has a program and he has got a purpose for each and every soul under the sun. The Bible says uh, about curses that this is a routine. A curse is a program. 
A cast is a system. A cast is an operating system that is installed in the life of a man. And it makes the man... Can I, can I go out then? I come in again. Maybe the voice will be corrected. Okay, okay. I don't know whether it is. It, it is well. Yes. Yes, as uh, I want to teach, uh, I want to, to teach more about a curse. So a curse is a program. A curse is a system, an operating system, a system of operation where it, it, it engages you. You are locked in a certain dimension and you begin to live in a certain way of life or in a, in a kind of life that is not your own. So many people are living a borrowed life. And, and when I, I talk of a borrowed life, a borrowed life is a system. It is, it is a program that is installed in somebody's life and you begin to behave or you begin to, to function in a particular kind uh, of way because uh, 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 curses are, are, are issues that have, are related to downfall, to the downfall of so many people in the society. And that is why this day we want to engage on curses. And where there are curses, there are blessings. Now listen to me very carefully. In the beginning, in the genesis of time, when God was creating the heavens and the earth, we are told that there were words that God used to speak to Adam. He, he used to come in the cool of the day and he begins to speak to Adam. And the engagement between man and Adam was so intense in such a way that it provoked the realms of the spirit. And there was an interest in the fellowship between God and man. There was an interest in the realms of the spirit. And there comes Lucifer, Satan comes to deceive the woman and then after the fall of man we see that there are certain uh, issues that were pronounced by god the supreme being a spirit being the supreme being began to speak things in the life of adam in the life uh, 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 of adam and also the snake there were things that were spoken in this creature's life that, that became a program, a way of life. So Adam was not just existing as a, a, a being of the spirit. Adam had an understanding in the oracles and the depths of revelations from God. Now listen to me very carefully. When God pronounced words like curses upon uh, the snake, that uh, there were certain things that would happen to the snake, and there were uh, 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 situations or occurrences that will take place in the life of Adam, Adam began to walk and live in a certain way of life. And then his days now were numbered such that he, he, he used to, he, he was a spirit being, more of a spirit being, that when, but when God pronounced certain words in the life of Adam, Adam now lived in a way of life that was quite unique and quite, uh, I, I would say that it was not normal because Adam was not just a human being. Adam was a, a human being, but more of a being of the spirit because he understood the legislations of the spirit. He understood that there are things that when you mess with in the realms of the spirit, they will cause man to, to walk in a, or to live in a certain way of life. Therefore, this day we are discussing and we are talking about curses and curses have become a major issue in the life of a Christian. A curse. What is a curse? A curse is a program. It is a program. The Bible says that the Israelites went to live in Egypt. But when they went to Egypt to look for food because of famine, it is famine that drove the Israelites to Egypt. There was something that occurred in Egypt that when Pharaoh looked at the Israelites and he understood that they were increasing in a rapid way, something happened. He began to look for means and ways of how to encourage them, of how to lock them, to dispossess them of their authority to function in the manner that God had created them to function in. So the Israelites lived in captivity in Egypt for 430 years. They were supposed to live in Egypt for 400 years, but the time that they lived in Egypt was prolonged. Why was the time prolonged? The time was prolonged because of a certain dimension that the Israelites were living in. And that is why we are discussing on this issue called a curse. A curse. 
something was spoken in your life something was spoken uh, in your destiny and then something overturned a system was installed in your life and now you are living in a way or you are struggling you are trying to make it in life and it has become close to impossible for you to make it because there is something that is holding you at ransom you have been kidnapped in the spirit somebody is holding you you are in a stronghold and that particular dimension does not want to let you go because a curse is a covering and that covering when it covers you you don't make it in life woman of god i want to welcome you again god bless you so much i want Thank to welcome you. you can you hear me well i can hear you now glory 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 yes and that matter of uh, uh, uh curses i would like to welcome the woman of god uh, uh, uh evangelist i mean Atta just uh, uh, uh dig deeper on and breaking curses because uh we are we are going to uh, understand more about generational curses generational infirmities and iniquities things that are traveling through the bloodline so a uh, woman of god i want to welcome you again uh, just come on board and uh, you can proceed <laughs> Amen, amen. God bless you. Amen. Uh, amen. Thank you, man, for inviting me into, you know, your sessions, your Sunday sessions. Yes. And uh, I am so humbled that uh, I could join such an anointed man like you on the platform. Amen. And I thank God for your life. I thank God uh, also for, you know, meeting you, you know. And I believe that God has a purpose for us to even know in each other and uh, even coming together in, in full, in a formidable force to, to bring the word of God and become a blessing in the lives of people around the world. Amen. My name is Evangelist Aminata, uh, Christiana Koji. <laughs> a lot of people know me for my maiden name, Atoli. And... Um, yeah, I'm based here in Nairobi, Kenya, and so I thank the Lord for serving. I've just finished my own uh, session online, and uh, we thank God that it has been a blessing. The feedbacks came up, uh, and I'm encouraged. Uh, so today I'm joining you. I don't know whether I take over or you. You can take over from there. You can take over from there. Ah, Hallelujah. Welcome. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. Glory to God. I, I, I have to go out because, um, because my, my phone was, I think, uh, trying to act up, but the Lord has restored it. The, the Lord has restored so that we can be able to, to hear and uh, for people to be able to join and hear what the Lord is saying concerning this topic about causes hallelujah amen praise the lord hallelujah. first of all i want us to look at the definition of causes praise the lord amen and i believe you have prayed and uh, i'll just flow because there's already intercession there's already prayer we thank god for this platform and the listeners we ask that the holy spirit brings them so that this word would be a word that will be spoken to their situation and their families and their generations and generations unborn in jesus name jesus. it's good for us to 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 have to, it's good for the people of god that satan would want to keep from this world will be released by the holy spirit they are released so that they will join in jesus name Amen. um of course here it says it's any expression which can sum which which uh, uh, uh expressed wish that some that some from of adversary or unfortunate unfortune will befall or attack attached to one or more person a place or an object what uh, uh, so this is what it's talking about it is an expressed wish that form of an adversary that forms some form of an adversary or misfortune. It is an expressed wish, but the expressed wish here is actually forms of, it comes to make a form of adversary 
and misfortune to an individual. And it is called, it will befall or attack someone. It will be attached as well to a person or a place or an object. So it's something that is targeted to something. So it is a spoken word or an action that is targeted to something. And mostly it goes to either an individual or groups of people which are persons or a place which is a country yeah. or an object. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Glory. So that is why you and that is why, man of God, when you see um, some people can wear some things that have been accost, and because they don't know, they can acquire causes from an object, even clothes, even things that we carry, we use. Sometimes we don't know that they have put a cause on it, and so that object becomes become uh, like a a present evidence of the cause of that person, uh, that thing that has been released on that object. So you carry it in the house, you carry it in your car. Sometimes you buy a car. I've had stories of people given these testimonies that he, this, this car was bought, bought, but it was a, a car that has been a cost, a car that has been actually cast fell upon or was owned by a satanic person and so that cost was left on it and when you use it sometimes it, it actually disturbs you finish your money or eventually create, get an accident just to destroy you so because it can come in a it can be placed on an object it can be put in a nation in a place maybe a location could be a land could be a house could be even a country you know, yeah. it could be also in a family. And but when he talks about persons now, he talk about family members or groups of people that would have committed or carried out uh, something that would someone would have cast a cause on and would affect those who are involved in that situation. And so causes fall into those categories. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Glory to God. Glory. And, and causes, man of God, they, they, cause, they don't come to cause any peace. They come to suffer devastation. They come to give suffering. They come to devastate lives. They've come to tear up and turn apart one's life or a, a country or a place. It comes to destabilize. So it is no in any form that is a good, a good thing to look to even acquire. So causes are very much strong in their own nature when they are released, when they are released. And so even the, there is a, a, a scripture that says, a cause without a cause shall not stand. But there is a time when you can carry an object that is a cause can even affect you innocently. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Indirectly. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Glory to now, God. I, I, I am Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 28, yeah. from verse 15 to downwards. You know, the book of Deuteronomy, it starts from verse 1 to 14. You find out that very few of that 1 to 14 are the blessings. If you observe, yeah. then when you look at it from verse now 15 downwards, oh my God, there are a lot of implications there for disobedience that if you disobey God, these are the consequences. Hallelujah. Amen. Causes can be acquired. Causes can be inherited. We can acquire causes by ourselves. We can inherit causes by ourselves. And I believe from, from, our, from our people or generation or family lineage. And so God was speaking to the children of Israel that I am the God that can bless you oh, yes. if you obey me. 
if you listen to me and let me tell you there is a place that is obvious for us to understand that uh, when we obey god and fear god and serve him obviously there is a place of blessing but again a cause can be acquired by our disobedience and that disobedience when that curse come upon us it might not only stay with us but it will also be transferred to our children and so it becomes generational hallelujah amen i guess you're powerful and so causes causes for disobedience disobedience in this context does not only mean it's not even a, a term that looks very mild in nature disobedience is quite severe it talks about rebelliousness it talks about all sorts of evil things that you can think about in the context of disobedience and so god when god was talking about disobedience he looked at the, at the holistic nature of man evil doings praise the lord Amen. the Amen. man tend, uh, uh, the holistic nature of man tendencies to do things that are outlaw that are not of god that are uh, abominable that are not acceptable before god so this is why he talks about disobedience you would be caused for the act of disobedience. disobedience. It means that the disobedience has a lot of activities that can be carried inside of it that will bring consequences of causing. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And so verse 15, verse 15, if we are to read it, it is very long. Yes. I don't know our listeners if they are joining because tonight is an exceptional night talking about this causes. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, and glory. And if you read it down, you know, when you look at the consequences, I don't know how long we have time, but it is so very long. But in summary of that one, because I am landing to another story in the Bible, so I am going to summarize the consequences of disobedience the causes that we will someone or a person or a group or a nation will receive when you disobey god hallelujah amen so consequences amen. are there and disobedience is actually generational you can inherit it and that inheritance of disobedience actually is an inheritance of causes praise the lord glory, and glory. so the trouble 28 makes us to understand that uh, the causes here are uh, actually can re uh, uh, the disobedience has uh, uh, consequences of causes that has these symptoms it has it when you see these symptoms in your life you just know that you are operating under a cause yes. one of them is poverty poverty yeah poverty <laughs> poverty is a cause because the Tonobi talks about it. Yes. First, the first one talks about you shall be blessed. You shall be blessed. Your basket will be blessed. But when you disobey, mm. then your basket is not blessed. Yes. The fruit of your labor, your 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 vineyard will not reap anything. Mm. So poverty comes because of a curse. Yes. And poverty in the family is inherited by our parents or our forefathers because they have committed an act that resulted to a cause yes 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 praise the lord yes amen praise jesus amen, amen. and so that is why you see that lots of families are actually inheriting poverty let me tell you there was a day i i was very angry with the devil when I look at my family, my father's side, we are many, but the successful ones are quite very few. My father gave back to 17 children. I'm number 16. Wow. And I realized that there is serious, there is severe poverty, like abject poverty. And then I started checking, why is it so? 
flow, so many children, but the burden is too much. The poverty level is too high than the successful ones. So those who manage to be successful, they've got pressure on those who don't have it. Why is it? I realize that when we were little, I could remember that some diviner was telling my father in the house that they have cost you, that even you and your children shall never make it in life. So that cost actually that has been released by someone, actually, actually, I don't know, it, it, it almost became effective. And I don't know how it is that way, and whether by a spoken word or by the behavior or the character of my grandparents, I don't know, but we were going to, to discover how some of these ones are actually acquired in the Bible. We are going to discover in the Bible how some of these ones are acquired yes. and are, are, are also inherited. Mm. So I want us to look at poverty very keenly that it is actually a, 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 a cause of, 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 of uh, 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 an evidence of causes in our lives. Mm. And also we have diseases that we inherit. Yes. Diseases, diseases. We inherited diseases because we are actually a cost. We receive it either by what we do or from our lineage. Inherited diseases, yes. they are also there. It is a result of causes. Yes. We have also divorces in families, mm -hmm. in relationship. Mm -hmm. Family, there are many families they cannot have they cannot maintain any relationship, any marriage, nothing. Mm -hmm. So then they are married, a few months later, there is divorce. You don't know the strong reason why it's happening, but we have to examine that, the, that anything that happens in, in the family of unstable marriage relationship, it is a cause. It's a cause. We also need to look at child abuse. Yeah. If anyone that is abusing children, you will know that that person was also a uh, father or parents have been abused. So the abuse, the abuse uh, uh, line continue. Mm. They co it continues to operate. Yeah. That, 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 uh, uh, that, uh, 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 that uh, 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 door has been opened. And so you find out that uh, abuse is taking place in the fact whether you become the victim or you become the perpetrator. But once you are a, a, a victim or an abuser, then you should know that there is a cause operating there. Yeah. We also have what they call sexual abuse, child abuse, all those abuses, incest, everything like that that is related to those abuses are actually a form of a cause. Yeah. Domestic violence domestic violence maybe it has been a seed that has been sown in the family domestic violence children grow up domestic violence they become they become adults they get to have their children their wives they abuse them that is also a form of cause man of god yes praise the lord amen we amen. have what they call alcoholic alcoholism yes drug addiction, immorality, adultery, adultery, yeah. hallelujah, Amen. lies, deception, yes. all of these things, perversion, depression, confusion, fear, panic attacks, mental illness, suicide, spirit, all of those ones, all those destructive behaviors, are forms of causes that are symptoms of causes that Amen. is manifesting oh, yeah. in different ways. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. And tonight I believe that God has given us the grace to speak about it and to reverse some of these causes. Mm. But for, for it to be reversed, one has to understand how these causes are operated. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. How are they acquired? Yes. It could be by. Yeah, self if 
afflicted way, mm. or it could be from lineage. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory now, I God. want us to look at a very important story here in the Bible. I want us to look at a very important story, how curses can be inherited mm. and people can suffer. Sometimes we suffer things that we don't understand how they came about. Very true. And then you keep praying. You don't know how to resolve that one. Yeah. Although that we have a provision, but I want us to read uh, in the book of Second uh, Samuel chapter twenty-one. Second yes. Samuel chapter twenty-one. This was a story in the days of of, of David, King David. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Second Samuel chapter 21. Second Samuel chapter 21. Are we there, man of God? Oh, yes. We are reading from uh, verse 1. From verse 1. From verse 1. The Bible says, And there was a famine during David's reign that lasted year after year for three years. Yes. And David spent much time in prayer about it. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He spent many times much time in prayer about him yes. trying to eliminate the situation trying to bring an end of the famine now let's continue and then the bible says here then the lord said the famine is because of the guilt of some as of Saul and his family yes. for they murdered the deep your nights mm, mm, mm. verse 2 says so King David summoned the Gibeonites. They were not part of Israel, but were what was left of the nation of the Amorites. Israel had sworn not to kill them, but Saul in his nationalistic zeal had tried to wipe them out. Okay? Yeah. Verse 3 says that David asked them, what can I do for you to rid ourselves of this guilt and to uh, reduce, to induce you to ask God to bless us? This is a cause. Yes. yes. Praise God. Amen. Other translations put it as a cause. Yes. And then verse 4 says, well, money won't do it, the Gibeonite replied. And we don't want to see Israel executed in revenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Israelite, we don't want to see Israelites executed in revenge. Yes. What can I do then? Said uh, asked, uh, David, asked, just tell me and I will do it for you. Mm -hmm. Well, then they replied, give us seven of Saul's son, the son of the man who did his best to destroy us. We will hang them before the Lord in Gideon, the city of Saul, of King Saul. Yes. Mm -hmm. Man of God. Yes. This is a, 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 a thing that was created, an act. This was a, a, a contract or a vow or a covenant that was broken Saul knew about that covenant yes. between Israel and the Gibeonites, and the, Gibeonites yes. and the Amorites actually praise the Lord yeah. Yeah. so now when the Gibeonites were in existence in his zeal to rule and you know the nature of Saul yes. he went and killed them yes. they did not have power to kill back at that time because they were empowered, overpowered by Israel. Yes. And so they killed them. They had nothing to do but the covenant. The covenant they made between them before the reign of Saul. Oh, yes. Spoke on their the behalf. covenant spoke in their life. Oh, yes. And the Bible says that for three years there was famine. And this David did not know where this cause was coming from. The cause of the famine. Yes. He knew that there is something that God needs to do. Mm -hmm. And he keep praying about this day in and day out. And people are dying. Mm -hmm. And people are suffering. So you can see how one man, one family, yes. 
Yes. One person can mm -hmm. even cause a nation, uh, a cause on a nation. Mm -hmm. Behavior of a person can cause, or a group of people, mm -hmm. or a whole family can bring about a cause in a nation, or a person can bring about a cause in generations. Mm -hmm. And so the Bible says that the Lord told Joe, uh, David that this was what happened. Because even when they were going through the, the, the famine, Kibionites did not come to tell David because of our cause. They did not. But the Lord revealed it to David. Now, wait a minute. This God is a God who has actually favored the children of Israel, who is protecting them. He's a God who even comes to fight for them against his enemies. Mm. He is a God who even kill nations, kings for them. Now, this is something that is very unique here. They have made a covenant between the two countries. There was a trust mm. and said, we are not going to kill each other. Yes. Let's live in peace. But the other ruler came and started killing them. They did not kill back because they didn't have power. But the covenant spoke in a form of cost. Yes. and there was famine and so what they required was the blood they shed is what has to be returned as a shed blood again for there so that there would be healing in the land uh -huh. so that there would be peace in the land uh -huh. and so most of these things God, that we are suffering mm -hmm. today man of god oh, is yes. because if you see poverty mm -hmm. if you see affliction mm -hmm. continues uh, maybe we don't know where it's coming from we go to church in prayer yeah. we don't know what happened why is this called persistent in my life mm -hmm. why is this happening in african nations today that we keep struggling mm -hmm. we have all natural resources we have everything it takes the ability but yet we are suffering yes what is the cause of this suffering yes. what is the cause of affliction in the lives of people in families oh, in yeah. nations oh, yeah. in communities Glory. one of these things you can see what is causing someone somewhere at a point uh, would have gone wrong uh, with a covenant would have gone wrong uh, with this uh, with uh, a disobedient attitude uh, would have gone wrong to serve other gods would have gone wrong to go even to the kingdom of darkness mm -hmm. and break a covenant with satan oh my and god obeys covenant god obeys whether you made it with satan yes. whether you made it with who he obeys it these yes. people were are not israelites they are not god's chosen people oh, yes. but the bible says that god's people went and made covenant with them they yes. made an agreement god honors their agreement and that is why he could not stop even the famine that was afflicting on his own people mm. and he said you better know this is the situation you have to fix it i will not fix it for you yes. this i have come to announce to someone mm. that god knows yes. that you are going through the situation oh, yes. it's for you to inquire of the lord mm. why am i having this situation happening to me mm -hmm. why am i having this affliction and affliction could come in a form of disease yes. that is a cause because god will never give you a disease mm -hmm. except it is god it, it is actually gotten by a cause mm -hmm. god can never make you poor because he has a, he said it's him that gives you power yes. to make wealth oh, yes. and when you obey him Love when you agree you come to agreement with him yes. this is what i will do but when you disobey this mm -hmm. obviously you go against it you have prepared against the agreement yes. then there is obviously a cause yes. and in any agreement uh -huh. i will uh -huh. tell you that there is always a repercussion oh yeah there is always a consequence Glory. of what we agree or what we do yes. how we, we deal with one another uh -huh. is very much important yeah. how we deal with god yes. is also very much important yes. and so god allow this affliction to come upon Israel, yes. you will not stop it uh, mm -hmm. because the agreement uh, has to be respected uh -huh. because it's a covenant. It's a covenant. Uh, he is a covenant keeping, keeping God. God. Oh, yes. He wants to 
ensure that any covenant yes. is kept. And that is why Satan is ravaging families uh -huh. and individuals and generations. Yes. Because people are who are before us, our grandparents, they have gone there, they have set up altars, mm. they have compromised. Yes. And so the cause now oh, is my God. on us that were born later on. Yes. Maybe we are the fourth generation. Mm. Maybe we are the third generation. Yeah. And you find out that you and I yeah. and others are suffering mm. innocently because of what our forefathers have done. Yeah. Son left the cause. Mm. The children of Israel suffered because of his behavior, yes. because of his disobedience, mm. because of his character, because of his ambition, because his of his greed, and that is why the cross came on Israel. Yes. And the Bible said the Gibeonite said that we are only going to correct it by the same man that caused it, his own uh -huh. council, his not own, the nation, his the own blood. Suffered, My God, but those who are going to correct this, yes. who are going to pay for this, uh -huh. is the family, the lineage of Saul. Yes. Now Saul has put his family mm -hmm. and his lineage into jeopardy uh -huh. because he has died and gone, but yes. he has his sons, he has his grandchildren. Yes. Now his wife gave back one of his estranged wife yes. that is so not uncommon in this Bible. She had about about two or three sons of them We are taken plus an other. You know, all of those ones were taken. Seven of them are taken. His grandchildren yes. we are taken and seven of them we are out publicly, disgracefully and then we are killed openly. Oh my God. Or to to put back, to return, mm. or to call, to mm. reduce mm. the cost. Yes. So blood has to be shed because blood. there was a shedding of blood. Yes. That's the impact and the repercussion of a curse. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. My God. Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So I am talking about generational policy. Yes. There is certain, there is nothing, you know, to, to acquire policy is easy. But honestly, it is not so easy to, to take effect immediately. Some of these chronic issues that we deal with are generational issues yes that we need to go back to the roots ah. david if he had not inquired he would just think that it is the normal thing but he was a godly man he walked with god so he had to inquire he kept praying for this family sometimes we pray and pray but i want to assure those who are watching tonight oh my hallelujah, god that there is a place that god has a place that he has prepared. Mm. He has prepared a, 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 a way of escape. Yes. He has prepared a way of escape oh my. for all of us in that Jesus are name. operating in the cause. Mm. A generational person through the bloodline. Bloodline. Understand yes. that? Yes. But a generational cause can only be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Can only be cancelled by the blood. Do you remember that so killed? Mm. Lord and the Gibeonites also asked for their son. Yes. For his son. Yes. And his son, seven of them were slaughtered. They, they died. For blood. Yes. A generational cause mm. comes through bloodline. Yes. But a generational cause. Can yes, be by the blood of Jesus. it's the blood this of Jesus. This is the reason why Jesus uh, died. Uh -huh. He uh -huh. shed his blood yes. so that any cause. Mm. That has come through the generation. Uh, yes. That, that has come through lineage mm. can be cancelled, can be removed, Amen. can be cleansed Amen. by the redemptive blood of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Mm. My God. There is a way. God has made the provision. Yes. So tonight I have come to announce to you uh -huh. that, In Jesus that God name. has made the provision. Oh, yes. No matter what 
you are suffering. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that as we come to proclaim the blood of Jesus, yes. it is coming to an it end. It is we coming to an end. Cause in the mighty name of Jesus. Every cause is broken. Yes. We decree yes. that the blood will Yes, every cost and disrespected mm. and, and wretched and being left behind. Mm. Today, the blood of Jesus the is blood, breaking it. The blood of the Jesus, blood of Jesus will break that cost. Break that cost. It has the authority yes. to break causes. It breaks that cost in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes, yes, my Father. Yes, my God. Yes, my God. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Who says that according to the law, almost all things are purified mm. with, the, with the blood. And without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of, of sins. sins. No yes. remission. Oh, yes. In the book of Hebrews 9, 22, no remission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. No remission. So you see the blood, any blood covenant that our forefathers, our parents have entered, uh, that has caused anyone to suffer, mm. we raise the blood of Jesus the blood of as Jesus. a weapon yes. of defense, Upon as a every weapon cause. of cleansing, in as a weapon against every cause that we are able to the clean and to break yes. every cause in break every, every cause that is watching break and every cause your generation, your in, generation. The name of in Jesus, Jesus name. the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, 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 Lord. Yes, every pronunciation against your life, whatever words that were employed or deployed against your life, we break the power of that curse in Jesus' name. Whoever sat down to discuss your life, it is broken. And I fall short of the glory. Oh, yes, oh, yes. And I justified freely by his grace. Yes. Yes. That comes by God. Of atonement. Mm. A sacrifice for us through faith in his blood. He did not, he did this to a word to demonstrate what is justice. Yes. Justice. Yes. Divine justice. Over every that has been falsely accused, uh -huh. that the enemy yes. false accusations, that that they have made we silence them in Jesus' your mighty name. And your lineage, yes. your Today, we yes. bring the blood of Jesus yes. to act on as a divine justice upon oh, the land. Yes. Let justice be done Rekobo in Jesus' Shete. mighty name. Rekobo yes. Shete. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus mighty name. Yes, we break those curses that were pronounced upon your life. Yes. You that is watching, that spirit of disappointment, near success syndrome. We break it by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Yes, we break it. Satan is the accuser of brethren. Yes. But let me tell you today, whenever he starts to accuse you, we present the blood of Jesus of your behalf. In Jesus' name. Above, In Jesus' name. You. We break that curse. Over your yes. life, over your future, oh, yes. over your plans, Jesus over your purposes, yes. over your destiny, Glory. the destiny of your spouse, yes. the destiny of your children, yes. the destiny of your generation. Uh -huh. In the name of Jesus, In Jesus they name. are preserved in the, the blood. We preserve your generation. Yes. We preserve your life. Yes. Blood of Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. My God, my King. Oh my God. That curse be broken. Whatever curse is working in any person's life, it is broken. Oh yes. We break that order. Ah, to scatter paradosha. 
in Jesus' every name. Spirit of, of, of confusion, yes. every spirit of deception, yes. operating over your life we break and it. your children and your we break it over your life. Broken by the blood. Be broken by the blood. Be shattered by the blood. Be shattered by fire. Be destroyed by the in the mighty the name of Jesus. Of Christ, oh yes, oh yes. We come against it. We come against the pronunciations of that. Yes. You will not operate in fear. Oh, yes. Give thanks for joining again. In Jesus' name. You will not in, in Jesus' you will name. Not in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Mm. Because when a cause comes upon, is acting upon someone's mm. life, mm. indecision is one of the weapons the devil will use. So ah, that you will not be able to do this. That will advance you. Mm. That will advance your family. Mm. That will make you fulfill. Every spirit of indecision yes. that you are suffering is broken by the blood of Jesus. Broken by the blood. By the blood. I choose the blood of Jesus as a weapon. Broken by the blood. Over every ancient altar speaking against you, oh, yes. working against you, yes. I cross them down. I destroy them yes. by the blood of by Jesus. The blood of they Jesus. are massively yes. destroyed. Never to be rebuilt. Never to be rebuilt. Mm. We kill. We destroy by the blood of Jesus. By the blood every of Jesus. Priest, every priestess that is standing in any altar yes. is dictating yes. ancient yes. ceremonies in cast. Taking words, ordinances, making ordinances against you and your generation mm. is shattered by it the is blood. It is shattered by blood. We by blood be, in Jesus' they name. Will, they will become uh, the blood of Jesus, yes, become a weapon of mass destruction yes. over every form of oppression that the devil is bringing to you. Every cause that is sending against you, even now and forever, and after this prayer. The blood of Jesus will be raised as a standard. Mm. Mm. My God. Do that is suicide. My God. Your children, they are tempted to suicide. Your loved ones are tempted to suicide mm. because of situation, feeling disappointed. Every spirit of disappointment. Yes. Every spirit of Yes, Karuta Kapata Lani. In Jesus' name. We cancel it by the blood. We cancel it by the blood. We cancel it by blood. We take yes. it out of your mind. In Jesus' mighty name. We place every evil imagination yes. in your mind. Yes. By the redemptive blood. By the redemptive blood. We install the blood. Yes. We install the name of we Jesus. We install the blood in the name of Jesus. And your household. Yes. I deploy angels deploy and the spirit in of Jesus to mind. possess you oh, yes. and your household oh, yes. and your destiny to direct you even today in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Hallelujah. Jesus. In the mighty name Maya of Jesus. Yes. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 65 of verse 17 to that one, it says, Not anymore will your children will be called wayward. Not anymore. You will not lose battles anymore the blood of jesus is your card of defense it's your weapon of defense the blood of jesus i don't care what legal accusation yes. the enemy is bringing before the lord we bring the blood of jesus yes. as a weapon as a an advocate yes. for you to yes. stand and justify you where you have been condemned to justify you where you are guilty. Yes. The blood of Jesus is here to make you guilty. Is here to preserve your generation. Is here to preserve your future. Yes. In, the mighty name In Jesus' mighty name. Oh my God, that was powerful. Glorious. Kato sekete yama. Sanda kapatoza. Yes, 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 yes. Lala koto soko posha. Yes, yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Oh my, oh my. Oh my. Exalt and magnify you. For besides you there is no other God. Blessed be your holy name. 
Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father, for deliverance tonight. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We seal this prayer. Yes. We seal this declaration. Oh, yes. In the blood of Jesus, uh-huh. this word shall not fall uh-huh. into any ground that is unfruitful. Yes. Father, Lord, it shall resonate. Oh, yes. Inside the spirit yes. man of mm. each and every one mm. that is listening to this word. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. mighty. Blessed be God. 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 Amen. Blessed Amen. God. Heaven and earth. Amen. Watch over the affairs of man. Thank you, Father. Thank Glory. You, Father. Glory you to God. Thank God in the palms of your hands. Yes. Our words are continually before us. Lord. Yes. Thank you. Thank you because we are also confident yes. in you that you are able to protect us. You are able to save us and to deliver us and to bless us. Yes. We give you the praise. We exalt you. We exalt you, you mighty Father. Father. That's why we serve you. And yes. That's why we are uh-huh. That's why we are bold. Uh-huh. Blessed be God. Powerful. We worship you in Jesus, name. in Jesus' name. God bless you, man of God. Thank you so much. Now, uh, uh, we've come to understand in depth about a cash. And uh, a woman of God, the Lord bless you so much. You have gone in depth and you have revealed that which must be revealed. You have unveiled that which is hidden. Because there are so many people that are passing through situations in life and they don't actually understand that the root problem of what they are passing through is coming from a technology that has been invented in the spirit that is purposed to catch them. And it is, it, it is, uh, it is focused uh, uh, and roots them in a particular dimension where they cannot enter into a realm of prosperity or success because something is speaking in their life. There are words that yes. were programmed in people's life. There are people who were born, and when they were born, there are words that were spoken in their life. That look at this child. This child is going to be like somebody else. That's a curse. You can't live your grandfather's life. There are names that have been pronounced or given to children, and those names are names of grandfathers or grandparents that died long time ago. And these people are the kind of life they lived who is a wicked kind of a life. And when these names are given to children, these names begin uh, uh, to function in their lives. And it's like the, the, the spirit of the grandfather begins to live in the young boy. And the young boy begins to behave in a particular way that resembles the life of somebody uh, uh, who died long time ago. Man of, man of God. Man of God, just wait for me one minute. Let me get a, a, a headphone. My phone has gone low. All right, all right. Now it is a bit off. All right. Now, uh, as, as I'm teaching about this, I want you to understand the power of a curse. The power of a curse. What a curse can do in your life, how much harm and damage and destruction words can be in somebody's life. I don't know who pronounced that words to you. I don't know what was spoken in your life. I don't know what they decreed, it, but it doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter whether the witch is alive or dead. I want to tell you as a prophet of God, whatever power or whatever altar that is speaking negative or speaking defeat, it is speaking losses in your life. It is speaking downfall in your life. Whatever altar, Altars can be uh, can be systems. The, an altar is a system of authorization, and the work of an altar is to authorize things from the realms of the spirit to come and manifest in people's life. And there are so many people's lives that are caged in altars. These are curses. A word that is spoken in your life can be an altar, and it can it can it can function in your life in so many ways. I don't know who pronounced those words to you. I don't know who told you you were not gonna make it. I don't know who told you that you will die young. I don't know who told you that you are not going to be rich. I don't know who told you that you are going to be a, a servant of people and not a master. But I came to restructure your destiny. I came to restructure your life. And the purpose of this conference and the purpose of this meeting, it is to restructure people's destinies. Because a, a, the, the power of a curse is more focused on the destiny of a person. And there are so many people's destinies that have been altered because of words that were spoken in their life. I want you to understand that words are building blocks. 
anything that somebody tells you has got capacity to transform and it has can it has got ca capacity to deform your life or to restructure oh, yes. your destiny and that is why uh, we, there are things that must be, must be pronounced in people's lives this night because it is a night of a change of story and there are so many people's cases that are going to be different whatever is functioning in your life as an operating system that is driving you to behave in a particular way that is uh, embedded or rooted on a curse we uproot it in the name of jesus Amen. Whatever, power, Amen. whatever power that has been spoken or whatever power that is functioning in your life we command that power to die we command that power to scatter in the mighty name of jesus now as we go deeper to understand the mystery of curses and and why curses are are so much of a distraction to many Christians' life, to many people's life. And uh, what I can say is that a curse is a stumbling block in so many people's destinies. Whenever you want to try to make it in life, there's something that is holding you. There's something that is pulling you back. There's a, a system oh, that yes. denies you access and opportunities to prosper. It is a system that denies you connection and networking because every time you want to move forward it pulls you back so it is a stumbling block in a believer's life now let us understand in depth why curses why curses why are we going to curses because curses are in form of words they are in form of imaginations and no no not everyone has got capacity to curse you i want you to understand not everyone has got that capacity. It takes capacity for somebody to speak a curse on somebody's life. And what I, I mean by capacity, it is an understanding, a legislation in the realms of the spirit. What you understand in the realms of the spirit can give you an understanding and it can give you a, a, a power to, 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 to restructure and to deform or transform somebody's life. The Bible says in the book of Numbers, chapter 22, from verse 22, uh, uh, we'll talk from verse 1. The Bible says, And the children of Israel set forward and preached in the plains of Moab on this side of Jordan by Jericho. And then we understand that there is this man called Balak, the son of Zippor. And that there was something that was bothering this man. The presence of the Israelites in that territory actually bothered this man to a point where he sought for divine, he sought for uh, diabolical means in order to stop the children of Israel. Look at what is happening. And Moab said unto the elders of Midian, now shall this company lick up all that are around about us as the ox uh, licked up the grass of the field and Balak, the son of Zippo, was king of the Moabites at that time. From verse 5 says, He sent messengers therefore unto Balaam, and to Balaam, the son of Baal. This is a king. This is a king. He is in charge of a jurisdiction. He has got an army, and he understands that if we go to battle, there are chances that I might win or I might not win. Mm -hmm. But this king mm -hmm. understands that the children of Israel are not, just, are not just people or mere mortal beings, because he understands that there is a backing of the spirit. There is a technology in the, in the, in the, in the uh, children of Israel that permits them to prosper and to be victorious no matter the consequence. So this person knows that the children of Israel are not just warriors, but there is a power, that there is a force that backs them up. So he understands that by fighting the children of Israel, I need to engage a spiritual technology. So he seeks for Balaam. Right. Why does he go for Balaam? Yet he is a king. He is the master of that jurisdiction. He is a, a, a chief or a, a leader in that jurisdiction. But this man, he has got an army. He has, he has got all the weapons of war. He understands battle. He is a king. But this man now, mm. he knows that going to war with the children of Israel in this technology of just battle, he will not win because the children of Israel are protected by a law in the spirit, a law of the spirit. 
there is a deity or a god a supreme being a spiritual being that is fighting for the israelites so this king goes to balaam balaam is a spirit being the bible says according to the legislations of the spirit or according to a, a spiritual matters we come to understand that the spirit man make a judgment of all things but he himself mm. is subject to no man's judgment so a spirit man is subject to no man's judgment you cannot overpower a spirit man a, a, a carnal man cannot overpower a spirit man so Balak employs a spiritual technology and he goes for Balaam and he asks Balaam, what does he say to Balaam? The Bible says he sent messengers, therefore unto Balaam, the son of Baal which is by the river of the land of the children of his people, to call him, saying, behold, there is a people come out from Egypt. These people are coming from slavery. These people are not just warriors. They are not warriors. They are just mere people. But this king tells Balaam that these people, they have come out from Egypt, but they cover the face of the earth and they abide over against us. Now listen to what the king tells the spirit man. Come now, therefore, I pray thee, cast me these people, for they are too many mighty for me. The king wants these people to be cast. The king does not want allegiance with an, another army. He doesn't want to enter into agreement with another army, or he doesn't want to employ external help from another king. He goes to a man, a whole king, hmm. in authority and in power. Instead of asking for assistance from another king, he goes to a man, a spirit man, and he tells the spirit man, hmm. cast these people, how many people have been powerful in the land? How many people were once very rich and wealthy? And right now there's nothing to show because somebody cast you. Somebody employed a technology of disaster into your life. That's and that right. technology That's is right. working for so many people. Listen to me. The Bible says, come now, therefore, I pray thee. The king is not asking for weapons. The king is not asking uh, uh, for drones. He's not asking for tanks. He's not asking for machine guns. He's not asking for uh, RPGs. The king is asking for Balaam to cast the Israelites. He says, Balaam, the son of Baal, come, cast me these people. Cast them for me. I know I have no capacity to cast them. I am not in a position to employ this technology uh, in the lives of the Israelites in order to defeat them. But you, Bala, you can do it because you understand the legislations of the spirit and listen to what happens. The Bible says that these people come and cast me these people for they are too mighty for me. So there are people that have looked at you and they know your capacity. No one can just fight you in the spirit unless they understand your capacity. Every battle, in every level, there is a devil. In every level, there is a giant. In every level, and there is something that devil. is waiting for you. And there are people that understand the mystery of curses. They will just sit down and they will pronounce words in your life and those words begin mm -hmm. to take root. The Bible says That's that right. I, 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 I come and cast for me these people. They are too mighty for me. Peradventure, I shall prevail. The Bible says that we may smite them and that I may drive them out of the land. The king knows that if he fights them physically, there is no guarantee that he will win. Unless a spiritual technology, not as a curse, is employed and it is deployed in the lives of the Israelites, that is when the king will gain victory. The Bible says, I what that he whom thou blessed is blessed, and he whom thou cast is cast. So uh, Balaam had a CV of his own, and the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed. The Bible says they departed, but it did not end there. The elders of Moab and the elders of Midian, they departed uh, with the rewards of divination in their hand. So a curse is a wicked technology that makes man to live in, a, a, in bondage, in abject poverty, 
in slavery. You That's become right. a slave of a program. You cannot function outside the jurisdiction because a curse engages you. It, it, it places you in a cage. It places limitations in your life. You cannot prosper past a certain dimension. The Bible says, and the elders of Midian, they departed with the reward of divination divination in their hand and they came unto Balaam they spread the words to Balaam look at what happens the next thing what Balaam does in Numbers chapter 23 there's a strange mystery that occurs and what we see is that Balaam says that for me to cast the children of Israel Balaam said unto Balak build me here seven altars and prepare me here seven oxen and seven rams. There was a price to pay. Every curse that is spoken oh, yeah. upon the life of somebody, it comes with repercussions. It comes with a price. Oh, yeah. Nothing in the spiritual realm, there is no free things. Anything that is deployed from the realms of the spirit into the life of a human being, it comes with a price. Not everything That's in right. the spiritual realm is for free. So there was something that was to be put in the altar or offered on the altar. There was a price for the curse. Whatever blood that was shed for your life, whatever blood that was shed and words that were pronounced or divination. What is divination? And who is a diviner? A diviner is somebody that locates you in the realms of the spirit. He uses black magic, diabolical powers, to locate you in the realms of the spirit. And there are people who have been located in the realms of the spirit. These people carry the reward of divination. Divination. There's somebody that is trying to locate you in the realms of the spirit. It is your business. You are trying to prosper. You are trying to venture into deeper dimensions of business. But something is withholding you from prospering. Somebody is just there. Somebody is enchanting your name. Somebody is enchanting your family. Somebody is enchanting your business. And I command any man or woman that is enchanting your name to fall down and die. The Bible says, suffer not Amen. a witch to live. The, the government Amen. and the institution of God, the kingdom, permits me to bring down any kind of diabolical operations in your life. So whatever power that has been rendered in your life, whatever power or altar that is speaking contrary to your blessing that curse that has been decreed upon that wicked altar we command it to backfire to the sender it will swallow them alive Amen. they will fall down it will fall back on their heads in the mighty name of jesus so we have come to understand the mystery of a curse a curse is not yes. just something a curse is a technology it is a technology mm. a wicked technology that is focused on bringing down the children of god so that curse that was wow. spoken in your life that curse that was decreed by your forefathers whatever that is traveling in your bloodline that is permitting you or that is that is making you to live in a certain way of life that program that has been installed in that family that nobody lives past 43 years i command that program to die i command that program to Amen. cease there is a program that has been set in families that the children the, the daughters in that family they don't get married you are the the, the, the men just take you uh, and then they, uh, you you just have children and then you go back to your father's house and everyone from your firstborn is still living in your father's house it is a cause we break it by power by fire in the mighty name of Amen. jesus there are people in families they suffer from strange diseases what your father died uh, 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 what killed your father wants to kill you right now there are some people that are suffering from obesity we are told that this uh, man of god td jacks understood that there was a problem in the family that they were dying from obesity and then something happened the man of god the prophet of god the apostle of god duncan williams understood that there was a technology that was employed in the life of td jack's family and he knew that this technology must be brought down because it's not something that can be erased by paper it is not documented a curse is not documented no a curse is not just a clothing no a curse is a spiritual technology it is a system of mm. darkness it has got capacity to engage you it has got capacity to limit you it has got capacity to make you a uh, 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 cease to exist in this world 
curses have made people to die prematurely. So a uh, uh, man of God, woman of God, child of God, you who is found in this platform this night, let this night be a night of change. Let be a night Amen. of transformation. You were not going to die. You are not going to die this year. That curse that makes people to die in your family. You are not going to bury any member of your family this year in the name of Jesus. That program that keeps on repeating itself, that system that keeps on alternating. Now it attacked your mother, it has attacked your sister, now it is attacking you and it is revolving around the family. It is a cause that is making you to live in abject poverty. We command that curse to break and scatter for good in the name of Jesus. It will not rise up the second Amen. time. It is written oppression, frustration, depression will not rise up the second time. And I decree as a prophet Amen. that whatever your father passed through, you are not going to pass through the same thing. Whatever your grandfather Amen. died of, you are not going to die of the same disease. No, it is not your Amen. portion because your case is Amen. different in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yes, in Jesus' mighty name. We decree a blessing upon your life. We decree a blessing upon your children. We decree a blessing upon your ministry that you are not going to suffer depression. You are not going to suffer frustration what other ministers are passing through you are not going to pass through that because your case is different this night I decree Amen. in Jesus name you are blessed Amen. you are blessed you are a blessing of God you are a peculiar species you are anointed of God you are a blessed one Amen. of God you are not going to suffer destruction anymore Amen. you are not going to be rejected any longer ah uh ah -uh. your marriage is not going to break ah uh, I say your marriage will no longer break your marriage is not going to go down your children are going no are not going to suffer poverty yes the the school fees that you are looking for you are going to find money this week God is going to open strange doors of finances for you. You are not going to suffer Amen. oppression anymore. Woman of God, you've been trying. Amen. You've been Amen. trying as much as possible to get a child. You are in that marriage for 10 years, for 7 years, and you're trying to get a child, and it has become close to impossible. It can be a curse that is functioning in your life. We command a curse to break. 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 It must break this night. It must break this night. This night shall not pass empty. You are not going to come out of this meeting empty. I decree you are coming out of that curse. You are coming out of that oppression. You are coming out of that program. You are coming out of that system. In Jesus' name. Oh my God. Amen. Oh my God. Thank you. Egypt Thank you. was a system. Oh, Egypt was a curse. Yes. The children of Israel. 430 years in slavery, in captivity. They forgot. They, they forgot who they were. They never understood mm -hmm. who they were. 400 years, they give, they, they give birth to children. They grow up. They, uh, they, they follow the same pattern. When a child comes into this world, the child understands that I am a slave. And so immediately they enter into slavery. There's no time to go to school. There's no time to, 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 to love uh, your mother or your father. There's no time to enjoy family. They are all slaves. Everyone was a slave. It was a devastating kind of life. And that is what a curse does. Yes. It limits you from prospering. It limits so many things in a Christian's life. Therefore, woman of God, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for the ministration. And I want to thank each and every soul and every person that has been found or is listening to this uh, a message. This is not just a message. This is a proclamation of victory over your life because it is your time. Amen. It is your time to prosper. It is your time to go forward. And we are addressing yes. the issue of a curse because it is your destined time. It is your appointed time and nobody is gonna take that opportunity out of your hands. Nothing is gonna stop you from getting that job. Nothing is gonna stop you from getting married. Nothing is gonna stop you from having children. Nothing is gonna stop your ministry from going international in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh my God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Therefore, I want to thank the Lord. Uh, uh, we shall continue uh, uh, tomorrow uh, uh, where we shall be uh, 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 going deeper on matters to do with altars. 
matter to do with authors so that we can understand more about uh, how we break curses and how curses are related to altars. So uh, I think we shall be here at the same time. I don't know if it's, uh, we shall be going for around 45 minutes. Woman of God, is that okay with you? Yes, it's okay. Glory, glory to God. Then uh, I want to give you this opportunity uh, 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 to close uh, with a word of prayer and also to give a word, uh, anything to anyone that is uh, uh, logged in. I see Edward Koriji. Oh my God, that name is so Koji, familiar. Koji. Koji. Yes. Glory, glory. <laughs> son. Hi. God bless you, Edward. Yes. God bless you so much. God bless you. Your life will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Yes, welcome, Amen. woman of God. Amen. Welcome, woman of God. Amen. Yes, we want to thank god for this powerful word that has come tonight man of god that was awesome that was powerful i mean so deep revelation of what you have just shared with us you are a gift in this kingdom and so we celebrate god for your life and your calling um tonight i want to thank god for all the viewers that have joined us we have secret viewers that normally i also observe they, they don't say anything, but they are there watching. Yes. Even when I was having my program, someone who was not showing up in the system yes. uh, just showed up in a video joining me. And uh, I realized it's a sister yes. whom I didn't see her name, but was watching. Yes. And it has happened not one time, you know, with other people. And so we know that you are watching. God bless you for watching. And not even if you don't even type, we know you are watching and you are you've been blessed. And I thank God for those who are my whom I sent an invitation. I saw some of them join, like Lami Osi from the Netherlands, and I see Adudin. Adudin, I think, is from uh, Sierra Leone, America. I don't know. It's a very regular uh, congregation of mine, and with my son, of course, my 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 my. My priest, <laughs> my, my, my priest in the making, my son, Edward, is here uh, with us tonight. We thank God for, for, for serving God. Man of God, thank you for giving me this platform. Yes. I will also bring it to my platform. Glory. I will bring it to my platform. Amen. Yes, so that the viewers that I have, I have a good number of them that every time I, I launch, the, I will have like 100 plus uh, viewers. And uh, I hope they will, God will also make sure that they get this blessing uh, from you. You have, you have been anointed for such a time as this. Thank you. So let us pray. Thank you, Father, for your word tonight. Thank you for the viewers. Thank you, Lord, O oh God, for your word that is timely. Thank you for this topic, O oh God, because you reveal it, because you want to settle a matter in the life of someone. And thank you because we know, O oh God, you've broken the curse, every form of curse that is manifesting in the lives of your children through this word is broken in the name of Jesus. They are broken. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We seal every victory in the blood of Jesus. We seal every word that has been spoken and be shared among us inside the blood of Jesus. Father, may we not forget that which has come as a blessing and as a deliverance. Father, we pray that Lord of God will always remember that word which has set us free in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, O oh God, for the man of God. We continue, pray that you continue to increase him in anointing, in wisdom, in the wisdom of the word, in exposing the word that will bring deliverance and blessing and increase faith in the lives of your people. We bless you, we exalt you, we magnify you. Thank you also for giving me the opportunity to serve in your kingdom. Be thou exalted, be thou glorified. Each and every one that has participated, I pray for a special favor upon their lives. I pray, O oh God, that you will mark them, O oh God, for a special favor in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, we glorify you, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. God bless you Amen. all. God bless you all. We meet tomorrow, same time, same time, yes. by 10, 30. I think we shall be ready. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we shall begin on time so that uh, uh, you can have the message in the fullness, in the stature of Christ himself. 
God bless you. Amen. We are very privileged God to have you. your I'm seeing yeah. Esther. Esther. Oh. I'm seeing a lady called Esther has been participating. Yes. Oh, Esther yes. Cheche. Cheche something. Esther yes, Cheche. Cheche. Yes, she has been, uh, she has been uh, participating a lot here. Yeah. Esther, we love you. Thank you for joining. Uh, who else have I not seen here? Uh, we, I'm seeing a name here called Bong, Bongi Kosi Ndumiso. Yeah. Bongi, if you are watching anywhere, uh, uh, God bless you. I don't know, these are your viewers, maybe, or mine. I, I am not sure. Uh, but Bongi, wherever you are, this this Bongi name sounds very South African. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to have a colleague that is called Bongi. Bongi, God Kossi. bless you, Bongi, for joy. Yeah. Yes. Adrudin, thank you for staying. Oh, and yes. who else again? Edward, I have said your name. Esther, yourself. Yes. Thank you all for joining. And if we, we didn't see you, forgive us. And uh, we love you. And uh, we hope to see you tomorrow again. Good night. Good night. God bless you so much. God bless you, Amen. man of God. Amen. Glory. Amen. Amen.